My name is Tabitha. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about Cash Receipt Journal. Cash Receipt Journals are used to record cash there are received from a sale on account. So what I mean by sale on account is when the customer come to you, got the good, but did not pay right away. So they pay after the time of sale hand, which is mostly 30 days. So when they pay you, you as an accountant will have to record cash receipt journal. You can also record cash receipt journal when you have a cash sale. This is when the customer come to you and buy good with cash. Also, when you receive interest from your investment or maybe from the saved money, so you can also receive cash. You can record cash, cash receipt journal and from the miscellaneous revenue so we record cash receipt but what is the procedure of from the sale to the cash receipt so what happened when the customer come to you and buy good on account so you will write an invoice to them as a record to show how many item they ordered and how much was per unit and how much do they need to pay like um, so you have that total amount of 471 and then you add your gst which are the tax sale tax and gst gst and you have a total value of of um, <laughs> 542.57 cents. So this is an invoice after the transaction. So now you back and, and record sale journal. Sale journal is a step number two. So when you record a sale journal, you record the date, customer number, and you also record account receivable so account receivable is the most important account so you debit it it's a temporary asset account that you debit with the amount of invoice this is the amount that the customer is going to pay and you also record sell sell journal you record you record sales you credit it and you you record PSC, GSC, and now what happened after 30 days when when the customer come back with the money and pay the goods? So how do you record catch receipt journal? So you record the date on the catch receipt journal and name of the customer, the customer number, create a bank with debit. So when you get the cash, you have to debit a bank because it's an asset account has increased. But you will also reduce asset account by crediting, closing the account receivable. This was the temporary account that, that you created when the customer bought your good on account so you create account receivable with the debit but now you're closing it with the credit because it's already paid by the customer so this is how cash receipt will look like so the cash receipt when when now you get paid you will create a bank with a debit amount of um, 542.57 cents. So 
to this is the credit and this is the debit and what is the corresponding account the corresponding account will be account receivable which is come as this is the account receivable and credited it's an asset account that says you have paid it off now with them um, with the cash so you credit it so to close it down so it will balance by 542.57 cents so you already get rid of this account you will now have the bank the money this one is closed and this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.